You said uh, men's rights. <clears throat> men's rights. What, what are your thoughts? I think when it comes to men and the court system, family court system, mm -hmm. I think it's heavily skewed within, um, within the ways of women. Um, I say that being somebody who has not only been through court, as somebody who has interviewed men and also consults men on a monthly basis about their trials and tribulations in the court system. The amount of money that is spent, I think the family court system is a money spinner. Mm. Um, I think the last statistic that from Fathers for Justice was one in four children in the UK are raised without a father, I think it was. Wow. Um, and I think, I, can't, I think it's 200 children a day are taken away from their father by the family court system. I think it was that, don't quote me, but I think that's the last statistic that I, I read. And I was just like, the court system is so heavily skewed towards women is that as soon as fathers enter, they're kind of seen as the evil guy. They're seen as the bad guy. Yeah. Doesn't matter. The mum's always the innocent one. She's always able to cry tears. She's always able to convince the court that she's the one going through the craziness and this guy's a crazy stalker or this guy's done something bad. And, and I just think men need more rights within the family court system. Mm. I really do. I think there are a lot of fathers out there. There was a reason why within, I think it was 2008, you guys may or may, may not remember where uh, Fathers for Justice scaled Buckingham Palace and, and, um, and uh, I think it was Parliament. They yeah. were in like the Batman suit and the Spider-Man suit and they scaled it and they had Fathers for Justice. And I'm like, what would get a man that crazy to, because he could die. That's Buckingham Palace. Yeah, there's, there's people, many of There's snipers there, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, there's no word of like the snipers there, but he was that um, frustrated that yeah. he wanted someone to know. And um, yeah, I just think uh, fathers need to have more rights within the court system. Within divorces also, um, it's very easy now with no fault divorces, which came in in April. Of What's this it called, year. sir? No fault divorce. All right, what, what is it? Which that? means yeah. you don't have to tell people why you want a divorce. Because right. you don't normally need to put down, ir 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 I, I can't speak, um, differences <laughs> yeah. that you have, or monetary, or adultery, or something. Yeah. Now with no fault divorce, can be no one's fault. Why are you divorcing? It's no Change. one's fault, just want a divorce. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? Ah, uh, no one's fault, just want a divorce. Divorce has become really easy now, yeah. you know? And with that, a lot of men are getting their stuff taken away. By the system, um, houses, cars, children, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, yeah, I just think, I think men need more rights within the court systems that we have. So is that like it, it needs a reform of law? It needs yeah. to change? Yeah, I think there needs to be a, um, a reforming of certain laws. And I, I think they shouldn't be so heavily skewed towards women. And that's not to say that women don't need laws also. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying men shouldn't automatically be seen as the aggressor. Do you, do you have any suggestions? Um, would it be yeah, so? Yeah. I, I would say the evidence. I would say, yeah. I would say the evidence has to be concrete, not just a woman saying, oh, do you know what he done? When I was at home, he was abusive. <gasps> oh, he's abusive. Like, do you know how easy that gets taken? Yeah. That, oh, he was abusive. They'll write that, oh, he was abusive. She, she said he was abusive. It's just like, but you don't know that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't know that. Do you know what I mean? And also parental alienation when it comes to men and um, parental alienation is something that is really big where one parent wants to alienate the child or children from the parent. Nine times out of ten, they want to alienate the, the child from the father. Wow. And yeah. so with that, the mother gets to tell that child and hone that child the way she wants to. And that father always gets, you know, seen as the bad guy, even now, not just from the mother, but also from the child. Mm. You know, and so a lot of children are walking around not liking their dad and they don't know why they don't like their dad. But they don't know that it was a mother that done it. It was a mother that made them not like their dad. That manipulation. It was yeah. a manipulation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so I'm kind of big on the fact that fathers need to have access to their children so that doesn't happen. Because if we talk about feelings, when a woman feels a certain way about a man, that will extend to the child a lot mm. of the time. A lot of the time when a man feels this way about a woman, he doesn't really extend it to his child. He just thinks he has 
talks to his friend, oh, he's got a crazy baby mama or blah, blah, blah. Do you know what I'm saying? He doesn't really say, your mum's crazy. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? He doesn't really go <laughs> to the child and say, your mum's got issues. But the women, the women do. Um, case in point, Jada Pinkett right now, right? Mm-hmm. With um, Willow Smith. The fact that Willow can write a letter to Tupac. What must have she been saying to her child? Like, why is your child writing a letter to Tupac about yeah. be, you being happy? Your trauma, they call, I call it trauma dumping. You're dumping all of your trauma yeah. on that child. And that child now thinks, oh my God, my mum needs to be happy. My dad can't make her happy. <laughs> the dead guy can. And so she's writing a letter to this dead dude. And I'm like, why is your child, why does your child know all of this stuff? Do you know what I mean? I think a lot of women um, dump all of their trauma, the way they think and the way they feel onto their children and it gets soaked in and that children starts to walk, that child or children starts to walk around with it. Mm. And um, unfortunately, um, there's a lot of children, I would say, walking around not liking their dad and it's their mother's fault. Damn, yeah.